Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Neha. I make video on tech and my life in the UK. In today's video, we are gonna learn about a new hook which is use debug value. This hook is very useful when you are going to debug your custom hooks. So if you will go to the React docs, in their doc uh, documentation, the definition is use debug value is a React hook that lets you add a label to a custom hook in React DevTools. And the syntax look like this, use debug value, and you will pass value, which is mandatory, and a format, which is optional. So what it means that you can add a label to a custom hook in React DevTools, because right now, if you are creating a custom hook, and while doing the debugging, most of the time, either you are doing console.log, or you are just uh, printing the value in your JSX. But by using use, use debug value, this will be simplified. So what you can do is you can add a label so that you know that which value you are looking for. And then in React DevTools, you will see the same value in your React DevTools. So the debugging become easier. To understand this, let's jump to the code. So right now in front of you, this is a custom hook for counter. Just to explain you this, what we are doing is we are using use state setting up the count. We have an increment, we have decrement, and then we are returning count, increment, decrement. So this is our custom hook. Now, if I want to use debug value to check the count value here, what I can do is I can first use debug value here and then use debug value. And what I can do is I can say if count is greater than five, then it give me high count else give me low count okay let's go back to our browser run this go to inspect go to our components react dev tools this is our app click on this and now you can see in under hooks you has you have used debug and the label is low count here and in that you have state three now i will increment it and the moment it will pass it will cross five it will change the label to high count. So now you can see that debugging is becoming easier for you. What else we can do here is, let me just copy this, comment this, come here. And instead of doing the condition, I can just simply pass the value also. Okay, let's go back, refresh, let the app in the, uh, yeah. So now we have use debug count three. Now let's do the increment and you can see it is working at real time. Another thing I wanted to show you is, let me uncomment the earlier one, refresh again. So now we have two use debug. So now you can see uh, we have an array. So it has low count, which is coming from my first. And the second is uh, we have count three. So what I'm trying to show you is, when you use you multiple use debug, you will get an array here. And now when you go inside, you can see the state. And because we are using two, two use debug value, so you have first one low count and the second is count three. Now let me start incrementing. And I want you to observe this high count and low count. So you can see now it is high count. If I will decrement, it become low count. So at the real time, you can see these things are changing. So this is the use of debug value, use debug value. It helps you in doing the debugging. However, there is a performance concern with this. So when you are using in your code for the production level, be little conscious that where you are using and how many times you are using. So there is a little bit of performance uh, concern here. Uh, so you have to be little uh, careful there. Now let's talk about the format, which is the optional one. So for that, you can see this one, there is one example on the react. Yeah. So if you want what particular format you want, so if you have a state date and you wanted to change it to date to data string, you can do that. So you can, uh, suggest, or you can, uh, share that what kind of format you are looking for. And in that format, you can get that data. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please um, share in your network. 
if you are a student share at your university college if you are working professional share at your workplace if you are liking my work i would request your uh, your support by sharing my content as much as you can with this i would say thank you for watching this video i will see you in the next video take care bye